Hi, this is Sarah with Higher Breaks, and today we're going to cover some different techniques that you can use to start your seedlings and transplant them. So here we have just some basic potting soil, and we're going to start with putting in our Higher Breaks tomato fertilizer. And what's really unique about this are all of the several different nutrients inside here. So more than just NPK, we have all of its micronutrients, secondary nutrients, all of which help that NPK get used efficiently in the plant. The breakdown is usually about one cup of our fertilizer per 50 pounds of soil. So we have about two pounds of soil here and about a teaspoon of our fertilizer here that I'm gonna incorporate throughout the soil. So now that we have that mixed in thoroughly, you want to make sure that you get it incorporated well and that it's not concentrated in any one area and that works the same for out in the garden you want to get it all spread out so that it won't hurt the roots we're going to start with a really unique way on how to seed your plants so almost every family has this in their house nice little ice cream cone here so we're going to scoop some soil in there and the really nice thing about this is it actually will disintegrate a lot quicker than some of your average peat pots. So this will break down in about a month once it's down into the soil. So I've got that full and then I'm going to put my tomato seed in there. And you want to put it down um, deep enough so that the roots have a place to develop but not too shallow so that they don't come up out of the soil. Okay, so that's what we have to start our seeds with. And then you can um, put this in a planting tray with other pots or set it in just a regular pot surrounded with some soil and then we will move on to how to transplant. So now, once your plant is about this size, after it's been started by seed, and we're gonna transplant it. Most people have little buckets like this or um, maybe a plastic coffee container that you can just reuse. And I'm going to use a drill with a hole bit on it. If you don't have one of these at home, you can definitely just use um, a hammer and a nail to make about a quarter inch size hole. And you probably wanna make at least five or six holes around the center here and that is going to help the water get through without allowing the soil and those nutrient prills from getting out of the bucket. Now that we have our holes drilled, we are going to place a coffee filter down in the bottom to prevent any of the soil or the fertilizer from leaching out of the bucket. And then I'm just gonna start filling it with my potting soil that has my tomato fertilizer incorporated in it. The other really unique thing about our fertilizer is that it has multiple sources of calcium in there and what a lot of people don't realize is blossom end rot is one of the very common deficiencies that most growers see in their plants. And a lot of people think that it's actually it's a disease when in fact it is just a deficiency in which the water cannot be transported throughout the plant and that is due to the lack of an efficient amount of calcium. So now we are ready to put our plant into our transplant bucket. And since it's still pretty cold outside, you know, we want a little bit uh, larger of a bucket for our plant to start growing its roots. So until it gets warmer, we're gonna put it in here, keep it in our growing room or in a greenhouse. You could put this on your back porch. So I still have a couple inches here. I'm gonna continue to fill some soil around that. And there is your transplanted tomato plant. If you have any other questions about our tomato fertilizer or any questions about plant health and soil fertility, please go to www.hirebricks.com or give us a call. We're here to help you and revolutionize what you grow for improved health. Thanks for joining us.